And that kind of provides that little bit of bitterness. So now we showed you one kind of cracker with nuts. Flax crackers will show you a whole different approach to doing crackers. I also tie this in today because tomorrow is Tex Mex Day. It's night, tomorrow night. What? So I should say, don't go out tomorrow night. If you're going out to celebrate, do it tonight. This is on page 21. And then we're not just going to show you the better than tuna that you all had on Monday. That was Monday. good. That was That's very like good. It's simple and good. It's like I'm getting more extravagant. Okay. Can I ask you about the tomatoes? It it's makes it bad food combined to have tomatoes with the vegetables or anything else. Okay. Because soak flaxseed in water for at least three hours. Sometimes people say, so I'm going to relight this. Sometimes people call me up and go, well, how much flaxseed and how much water? I thought it was clear, but it wasn't clear enough. The two and a half cups of flaxseed in the five and a half cups of water. It looks like this. Can we see that? Absolutely. One cup of ground flaxseed. So if you're grinding your own flaxseed, you really are grinding up one cup, which will give you, this is one cup, when we grind this in our blender, or if you have a spice grinder, coffee mill, that will work fine. One cup of ground flaxseed, it should say one cup of flaxseed, comma, ground. Because look what happened to our one cup. It was giving you already one technique, soap, flaxseed, water, add spices, make a cracker. That's one technique. It says here, I don't know what I was thinking that day. I like to do five ounces of lemon juice. I'm going to be honest with you all. You can do lime juice instead of lemon juice. But I've upped it to five ounces. I think it tastes better. The garlic, it says three, correct? Yep, three. Unless you get like a monster clove like that. That counts as more than one to me, so. Garlic, it says one. This is three. Oh, third one three. down. Cloves garlic. No, third one down. In this one, we're doing red pepper. We can't use tomato. If I use tomato, I can use my food processor. But the food processor doesn't turn fast enough to really chop this up. Our kelp is kelp in that recipe. It should be. That's our salt. So we'll put in a teaspoon of kelp. This is why you have to come to class. Yeah. yeah. This is subtleties. Can you show us how we do it? Cayenne pepper, the then chili than pepper. The chili powder that I got. I didn't get it. They can't go I know. I'm looking at the real chili powder. I have enough up here. Whoever gave it to you set you up. Me up. <laughs> so we're doing three chili powder in there. A little bit of onion, if you like. A little bit of onion. As far as so like. The celery is providing us also with a little extra sodium. We're sneaking in salt hmm. without really using salt. Is there a preferred onion? It does not matter. It's up to you. Red, white. I think the recipe says red, but it doesn't really matter. If you do not have a Vitamix, you're not putting this much in your blender because it's not going to work. Be kind for Tex Mex Day. That's why I use chili powder. If I wanted Italian, yeah. Italian seasoning. If I wanted to be a curry, maybe I use curry and carrot. If I do a corn flax chip, which I've seen some for sale, I haven't bought really one that I like yet, raw ones. I like to do corn, a little yellow pepper, <coughs> lime juice. I leave out the salad. Uh, a couple leaves of cilantro. Good memory of that. Vitamix at work here. Wow. Notice that the Vitamix actually dims the lights out? Wow. Powerful. Did you see that? No, we're not going to put that in. I'm going to show you that later. I'm going to put it in. So here's my spice thing that I'm adding in. It could be any spices, right? I'm doing Tex Mex because we're having Tex Mex now. But this is part of your time for variety. If you wanted to make different kinds of flax crackers, it's kind of unlimited what variety you want to do.